Hello everyone, welcome to this casino. Today I am going to illustrate um, an easy way to mop. I love my cedar mop. I don't know if you uh, guys have heard, but there's a TikTok trend about the cedar mop, which is amazing. Um, the fact that you can switch these things so easily. I have one for the bathroom, one for the living room, and you have one different one for each um, place in the house. Forgive my appearance, but I'm cleaning, so it's not about how I look, it's about what you can learn. Um, so what I love about the cedar is that you have a little pattern here that actually you can just, you don't even have to touch the water. You basically put it in the water and then you just rinse it out. You put it, you put it, and then put it down. You basically just put it in the water. And you basically just put it in and it dries all the mop. You guys dry out too much. And not touching the water. I know the cedar map have come with a new birth a new version version. <laughs> they have come up with a new birth version of this uh, map, which I wanted to get, but um I saw um a video on uh, doing it on a dime. Uh, and she's amazing, you know, she um, used Dollar Tree stuff on basically everything. And I was able to, uh, she illustrated how, how to use the cedar mop without mixing the water and not having to upgrade to the new model, which I thought was amazing. Why not? You don't have to spend $49 more just to get the upgrade. And from what I'm hearing, the upgrade, the other model is not as great as this one. So why waste your money but this is what you have to do basically normally we will put water in the bucket and you will put your solution i love using uh fabuloso i normally get this at costco and this will last me a long time so i don't have to even stress about it but i'm going to show you what an easy solution it is to um to mop without having to touch the dirty water. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what, what, what uh, I learned from, late, from doing it on a dying video. She is fabulous. I don't know if I can find her video. I'll probably link it, link it in this video. But she's amazing and she, you should be watching her if you wanna save money and if you wanna do it things on a dime. <laughs> Here goes. So I'm gonna just show you the, the mop and I'm going to try to move it a little bit backwards. So this is what's going to happen. Try to align it so you can see it better. So normally you will put the water in here in the reservoir, but what you're going to do is instead of actually um, dipping them up in there, you put a, a clean bucket on top with water and a little bit of. Uh, of, uh, I put a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of fabuloso in there and then I put it in here. So basically the concept is that every time you rinse, you're getting clean water and it's not gonna, going to be dirty water that you, so one will be like, like I, I'm already, I already mopped one already. Now I'm gonna do another mop, but I'm gonna do it with clean water. So I'm gonna dry with clean water and then you're gonna mop and all the dirty water is gonna go to the bottom of the bottom of the buckets, which I think is ingenious. And you guys are gonna be able to see the difference in your in your in your in your house. Here we go. Remember, depending on what kind of floor you have, you have to follow the groove of the floor in order to be able to do this. The groove of the floor, my floor is wood and it goes straight down. So that's what I'm, that, the pattern that I'm following to clean my. You have the idea that you know you're not going to be using water. The dirty water is not going to be uh, combined when you're cleaning, and that's going to make it even more clean. You know, your 
your floors. So here we go. Not sure if you guys have seen it, but what I love about this mop is that it actually dries pretty fast. Everything and everything is so neat. And you can see how shiny the floor is. The floor is so shiny and you don't even have to get it dirty. And the water is clean. Never did you mix the dirty mop. So you basically just get the mop, go back to the clean water and rinse it up. And the dirty water will come on the bottom. All the dirty water goes on the bottom of the bucket. So everything is clean and the floor is fantastic. All I do is I put a little bit of, of vinegar, not too much, just a little bit to clean and disinfect at the same time. I'm pretty sure I've also probably disinfect, but this is my way of getting double of disinfecting. Especially with this uh, crisis of Corona, you know, you want your house to be clean. If any germs come into the house, you know that it's going to be super clean. So. And the good thing about using vinegar is that most of the stuff come off very easily. And it's not too complicated to get it clean. Let's see. Okay, let's turn this way and you can see the difference this is from me mopping the floor and then this is me the floor not being mopped and it leaves this beautiful shiny shine to it and of course it smells beautiful and aromatic the, the fabuloso is uh this is a lavender so it's like a lasting refresh color so I am think it's pretty amazing how you guys can get the floor to be very clean without mixing the waters but eventually you know because you use so many water you def definitely have to try to uh, dump the, the, the dirty water which is on the bottom and after a while all the water all the water that you put up here is gone and it's going on the dirty, which is down here. Let me show you. But the dirty water is right there. It's pretty dirty, and actually, it's not that dirty considering. But um, not that dirty considering. But you don't have to touch it. I'm just touching it for you guys to see, but not really have to touch anything. And if you put that bucket there. And that will take care of everything that you need to do. And it doesn't mix. Now, all you have to do is clean. And you don't have to invest 40 something dollars more to get another mop. Because the cause Cedar decided to come with a brand new model. And that's, that's it, you see? You, you use this as the alternative for cleaning the water, to keeping the clean water. And then, the dirty water is on the bottom and you just dump it wherever it is you need to dump it. Normally I dump mine in the bathroom because um, it gives it a nice smell to the bathroom but also cleans it and then I clean it after and that's how it goes. Anyway, this is um, this is uh, uh, my video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's not going to be a lengthy video but I, I wanted to give you another alternative on how to use the, the cedar mop without having to touch the water and replace the water and get clean 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 water to your to your floors <clears throat> so if you want clean floors all you have to do is and shine just put a little bit of fabuloso a little bit of um, vinegar and disinfect everything and i'm just showing you this is going to be a quick but look how beautiful your floor are going to shine and you don't even have to do too much they are going to be done right away anyway 
I'll see you next time on Beast Cocina. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know um, if you thought this was helpful. I thought when I saw it on, on doing it on a dime, she was amazing. So of course I wanted to share in my channels for you guys to be able to do this at your house too. I hope that it helped um, in your cleaning process and not having to mix the waters together when you're mopping the floor. I'll see you next time on Beast Cocina. And I wanna tell you that you all you guys are special. Thank you for, for, for visiting my channel. And next time, um, we'll see what what's gonna be next. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.